I came out today to get some Swiss chard for my omelets. And I noticed that there's a bunch of leaf miners, a lot of larva eggs on the bottom. In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing to get rid of the leaf miners. There are three challenges to remove the leaf miners. Number one is to remove the larva eggs. Number two is to remove the damaged or infected leaves. And number three is to use an organic spray to prevent the leaf miners. So this right here is larva eggs and they can be caused by flies, moths, beetles, probably a thousand different other pests. So the larva eggs will hatch and they will go into your leaves and completely decimate them. This is the sign that you've got some leaf miners. Is It looks just like a tunnel, a mining tunnel on the leaves. And what the larva does is they actually, the eggs on the back will hatch and then it'll go into the leaf and start mining and start sucking the life out of it. But the very first step is just to wipe these guys off. Make sure you, that you kind of pinch them. The very next step is to remove all the leaves that are severely damaged. I just removed pretty much everything, anything that had any kind of sign of the leaf miner. What I've also been doing is you can see the damage right there. So I will be taking my finger just on these leaf miner paths and just pinching the actual leaf where the damage is done. And I'm hoping I squish the leaf miners that are inside the leaves. I'm not quite sure if that works or not, but I'm giving it a shot. So the last and final step to is more of a preventative measure is take your spray bottle and spray the tops and the bottoms of the leaves. So I'm going to start with an organic spray. So I'll need two teaspoons of vegetable oil, 400 milliliters of water, and one teaspoon of dish soap. And you're gonna mix all this into a bowl, mix it up, then you'll be putting it in a spray bottle to spray your leaves that are infected. This will keep the, hopefully the flies off of them. Hopefully the eggs can't stick to them. That's the idea of it is spray this, keep it all greasy. Eggs won't be able to stick to the leaves and then hatch, go into your leaves as well. So it's preventative measure, kind of like a slip and slide. Take your spray bottle. You want to spray the top and the bottom of the leaves with your formula. Check every nook and cranny on these guys. And this one has been damaged. Not sure if it's going to survive, but it has no eggs on it. So we're going to go spray the one side, flip it around. As you can tell, this guy might be the culprit. He is, he's the fly that might be laying the eggs, the butthead. So I think I may have caused this problem. I'm not quite sure, but the larva eggs can come from flies. And a couple of days ago, I actually put fish fertilizer down and I might've made that, I might've attracted the black flies. So it might be my problem. I see the flies are flying around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure, do a very thorough removal. And then I'm gonna come back later this evening and see if I have any more eggs on the leaves. See if they're laying them per day, how quickly, that kind of thing. See what I need to do for time-wise removal. And two other things, try not to spray in the daytime because the soap will actually magnify the sun, potentially burn your leaves, could kill them. And then two is all the leaves that you've grabbed, all the damaged leaves. Don't throw them in your compost pile. Your compost will probably not get to a high enough heat to kill the eggs and you might have a bigger problem after that. Other than that, this was a short video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it helps and hopefully you guys don't have any more problems like I did. Love you, bye.